What's up, good folks of the YT? It's your girl, Miss Dana610, and I am here today on this great Memorial Day to do a haul for you guys. So, I bought some stuff that I really didn't need, but I really wanted. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm working on reworking my um, makeup collection because I have some things that are old that need to be discarded, darling. And um, I really want to go for more of a simple approach to um, redoing my collection. Look, that's water. I don't have a hole in my mouth. It's not that late in the day on uh, Memorial Day, so it's not barbecue. So that's water from the hair, okay? I was trying to pin it up. and The first um, line that I'm going to go through is MAC. Um, the first thing that I purchased is this MAC Prep and Prime. And the Prep and Prime gives you moisture. It's like the lippy. Gives you moisture, and it's just white. And I'm sure it doesn't come off white. I'm going to have to close this window. But anyway, um, gives you moisture, and it also fills in your cracks and crevices on your mouth um, whenever you're going to apply a colored lipstick. I should have started this way. Anyway, so um, let me let you guys see what the Prep and Prime looks like again. That's it there. It's just white, and it's just, um, you know, it goes on clear. Nothing's there. You can probably tell where because I'm a little ashy. But anyway, that's what this is for. And I purchased this because I have those matte lipsticks that I've gotten into that you guys saw in that MAC Lippies video. Um, the Ruby Woo and the Heroin lipsticks are both matte lipsticks. So I would like for them to stay a little longer and look better, you know, look their absolute best on. Also from MAC, I purchased um, this lip gloss from the Hey Sailor collection, which I really like this lip gloss. I bought it on a whim because it kind of looked like something that I thought I might like. But this is um, Blessly Rich, um, and it's in the Hey Sailor packaging. And this is the color here. It is really, really pretty. I'll do a swatch for you so you can see. It looks really, really good with the chestnut liner, like a brown liner. That is it there. It's got the sparkles and everything you need. So really, really peachy, corally kind of lip gloss. I have it on. No liner. I just put it on because I was just into it for the moment. As far as eyeshadows from MAC, you know, because I can't live without eyeshadows. I picked up this Dynamic Duo 1. I don't know if what collection it came with. I think it was the... Real Sexy Collection, it's R-E-E-L, Real Sexy Collection, but I picked that up. And of course, they don't give you names and all that fun stuff. But the color here is like a peachy, corally, you can't really tell, there you go. Like a peachy, corally, um, sparkly uh, color. And then here you have a matte um, purple, like a fuchsia kind of pinky purple. It's really, really pretty. I'm really, really excited to use this, and I think it's going to be a video in the really, really near future. Um, also, I picked up two colors that I found in the goodbye section. I didn't realize they were in the goodbye section. I just, um, oh, can I get my own hand sanitizer? What? What, what the piss? Oh, there we go. Okay. So a lot going on. A lot going on. Also, I picked up these two eyeshadows, which apparently are in the goodbye section, which I did not know. I just thought they were really, really pretty colors, and they would make a really, really pretty look, and they would be a great addition to my collection. So this first color, color is called Sparkle Neely Sparkle, and it is a velvet shadow from MAC, and it does have flecks of gold in it, and that's what it looks like. So it's just a deep brown it's got like gold flecks in it and a little bit of like multicolored flecks. Really, really pretty. I'll do a finger swatch for you guys. That's it there. I think it's going to be really, really pretty on. I think it's going to be really, really pretty on. This second color here is called Jealousy Wakes. And it is like a greeny blue kind of color. And it too has some shimmer and I... Quite as much as the um, Sparkle Neely Sparkle, but it does have some to it. And this is a uh, Velux Pearl shadow from MAC. And this is it here. Very excited about that. I live for greens, blues, and purple eyeshadows. 
I do. So I will buy tons of them just because I love to see those colors on myself, me, myself personally. So those are those there. On to the next line. I picked up, I went to, um, I also ordered from Sephora and I picked up my first Makeup Forever eyeshadow. I'm so elated. So I picked up number 92. Anyway, so this is purple 92. That's just how it comes off. Like, I don't even need to do a swatch for you because that's exactly, exactly how it looks. And it does not take much to um, apply this shadow. I mean, do this. Well, not that, but one swipe. And this is on finger. See it? So it doesn't take much. I do look forward to ordering some more Makeup Forever eyeshadows. And um, I think that they are, I mean, depending on how much um, you're used to spending for eyeshadows, I don't think this is bad um, for it to be as pigmented as it is and as great as it is. Um, a eyeshadow will run you about $19, $20 for Makeup Forever. But um, what I'm going to do um, is buy one of their empty palettes which also goes for about 20 bucks and just slowly fill it up the other item that i got is this aqua eyes pencil crayon pencil by makeup forever and i got this for free um because of the amount of my order so shout out to sephora so anyway it's a crayon i can't wait to use it that's how simple it goes on you don't have to press hard and you get all kinds of craziness results which i love so the last part of my purchase is this it is a blush from NARS and it is called orgasm if you are a makeup head you have seen this blush all over YouTube everywhere if everybody gives it rave reviews you don't need much and that's about how it looks in real life I mean it's orange it's not really pink but um yeah has a little sparkle to it I cannot wait to use this blush I love orange blushes on um brown skin women i love it um of course it you know the application has to be right and all of that kind of stuff but i love orange blush on brown skin um i'm not a big makeup person like i don't know all the ins and outs and highlights and contours and this this that and the third when it comes to makeup but Orange blush looks fabulous on brown skin. That's my haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, leave any questions, comments, concerns below, and I'll make sure to get back to you. I know I've been really, really sucky about um, answering um, comments left on my videos, but I have had a lot going on. But find me, Miss Bagel628, Mrs. Bagel628 on Twitter. You can find me, um, Mrs. I think I'm Mrs. Bagel628 on Instagram. Everybody's on Instagram, right? Right? No? Right? Okay. So if you're on Instagram, find me on Instagram. Instagram, Twitter, here on YouTube, um, Facebook. I don't know. I think I'm going to delete my Facebook page. Like, it's just too much. It's, it's a lot happening on Facebook, but that's neither here nor there. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed the haul, and I will make sure to get back to you guys with the new video as soon as I can. I'll talk to you good people later. Peace and peace. Bye.